Hello, this is Mindy from the Weekend Gardener, and today I would like to show you two techniques that have to deal with bulbs in general, and especially the amaryllis bulb. Now, as you can see, this amaryllis bulb has a separate bulb that has formed, and that's one of the techniques I'm going to show you today. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to get the amaryllis bulb out of the container. What you need to do is you need to gently tap on the bottom. If you can't get the bulb to come out, simply stick your finger in the drainage hole and push with your finger. And the bulb will come out. Now as you can see, the roots of this amaryllis have been growing in a circle. And that's because it really needed to be transplanted. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tease the roots. I'm going to loosen these roots up. And this is a technique that uh, allows the roots to grow outward. If you don't do this technique when you transplant any type of plant, what happens is the plant just continues to grow in a circle. It won't grow outward into a bit larger environment. So I'm just going to continue. If you don't like to get dirt underneath your fingernails, as an example, you can actually use a knife and you can just slice down through the root system here. Now some people cringe when they see people doing this. This really doesn't hurt is if you allow the roots to stay in that circular shape. Now the next technique I'm going to show you is how to separate this bulb from this bulb. Now you can try to manhandle it, or in my case, woman handle it, and get it to separate. Another technique is just to very gently separate it with a knife and cut down. When you utilize this technique, you've got to be really careful and not cut your finger. That is what you will have once you have the bulb separated. So the next step that you need to do is you need to repot the bulb. Now you can plant the bulbs together back into the same container, just separating them, or you can just upsize it. And as you can see, I have my coffee filter. You can use the packing peanuts. You can also use plant shards. I'm going to put a little layer of potting soil in the bottom of this. If you remember, this container had a drainage hole, and under normal circumstances, this is just a demonstration, I would have washed and completely dried this container before I went on to this step. So don't forget that step when you're transplanting anything. Make sure that the soil is broken up. The next thing I would do is I'm going to really tease out these roots because I don't want this plant to continue to grow in that circle. If you break some of the roots off, it's okay. Now if you remember, amaryllis bulbs do not like to be buried. So what you need, you need at least a third to a half of the bulb sticking above the soil level. Fill in with soil. So where you had one bulb, now you have two. Until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from the Weekend Gardener.